Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with yet another Ask Mad Mike segment where you can ask a question and I will get back to you in video form. All right, let's get straight to it, man. This goes out to Unknown Jim. In your opinion, what are the many importance of relying on the defense, keeping a lead rather than losing it, etc. Uh, example, damn, etc. Example, uh, Dallas versus... Uh, Atlanta. Um, I I love this question. This is probably you know if you know anything about Mad Mike and Atlanta Falcon Nation, what we try to do is just keep it simple. And we uh, look. I'm I'm all about the small intricate details of football that get you wins, that get you championships. And you know if you don't take care of the small intricate details of football, you're gonna end up. Um, losing a lot more um, something that's more important in my opinion than actually winning and that goes or what is that that talking I'm talking about chemistry uh, one of the things that has been the Falcons uh, Achilles heel is you know chemistry uh, in particular um, you know the defensive side of the ball like one of the things that I always talk about especially you know, for me personally, um, something that I did not like to see is the lack of accountability, the lack of, you know, on field, uh, you know, chatter, um, you know, going back and forth. I like to see guys who are very emotional on the defense side of ball. Like me, I want guys that are going to curse. I want guys that's going to scream. I want guys that are going to be animated. I want guys that's going to be in the face of their damn teammates. I want to see somebody scream, yell on the side, of, on, on the defense side of ball. So when I see, you know, there's nobody on the defensive side of the ball, I don't see the defensive coordinator, you know, getting into it. You know, remember Brian Cox had that uh, infamous, uh, you know, situation with Rasheed Hageman on the sideline where he was getting physical with him and whatnot. Like, that's the type of stuff that I like to see. Like, that right there tells me that these guys actually give a damn. All right? And even in that, like, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of turmoil. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of turmoil. Like, so, for me... The importance of relying on the defense is so your damn quarterback can chill. It's so your wide receivers can chill the hell out. People don't know how difficult it is to consistently, week in and week out, just solely rely on your receivers. It is a battle of, I'm talking about, it. it, it, it it's a battle of, you know, whether or not you can, you know, keep up with that cardio. Because if your cardio is it straight on the offensive side of the ball, man, like you're not going to go out and play, you know, you're not going to be 100%. You're not going to be, you know, all in on a lot of situations. So you're going to get to the fourth quarter, you know, your receivers, are, they're tired. They can't get open. They can't use, you know, the athleticism to, you know, to, like to, to make plays when they count more. So, like, this is the importance of having defense, you know, relying on the defense, you know, that, you know, that it, it's it's going to help the offense in its entirety. And one thing that we always talk about at Matt Ryan, I hear a lot of Matt Ryan, you know, whether you're a Matt Ryan supporter or you're not, um, people that are not really a Matt Ryan supporter that says that he's not a four-quarter guy, that he doesn't get it done in the fourth quarter. And, like, for me, this is one of the biggest aspects of that is when you talk about, you know, the fourth quarter. If Matt Ryan is tired, if that, if that offensive line is tired from having to throw the ball 40 to 50 times in the fourth quarter, like, this is what we're talking about. He's not going to be, you know, you know, he's not going to be, you know, he's going to be tired when it comes down to the fourth quarter. All right. So you want your quarterback to be, you know, ready. And he, look, you want him to be ready when it comes down to the fourth quarter. You don't want to be tired. So the importance of having the defense in the fourth quarter, it has, it seriously affects the offensive side of the ball. So like we've seen time and time again, when the offensive line just they can't keep up with guys like Cam Jordan, they can't keep up, you know, with the you know the forty not the 49ers, but the Saints, 
you know, the, you know, the teams like a Tampa Bay who can get after it. You know, they can get after it and they can and they, and they can blitz in the fourth quarter and put more pressure on the offensive line. So these things right there, I think this is the most important aspect of relying on a defense, you know, because you can in the fourth when the fourth quarter comes, you know, Matt Ryan is absolutely ready to make plays and he's not tired. All right. The offensive side of the ball, Calvin Ridley, you know, Cal Pitts, the offensive line isn't tired. They're, they aren't worn down for having to pass protect for 40 times, 40 times, 50 times in the game, week after week, after, after a certain period of time, that kind of gets to you. So having a defense that can get these three and outs and they can rely on the running game and they can use the big bodies to wear down the offense, the defensive side of the ball of their opponent it makes it that much difficult, all right? It makes it that much difficult for those guys to get you, get a rest. So when it all comes down to it, man, you know, it's all about getting these guys, you know, and, and stopping the opponent from getting, you know, from, you know, from running the ball. Because one of the things that, you know, for offensive side of the ball is that if you can get your running game going, you can control the clock and you're going to have less – um, you're gonna have less, um, you know. You're gonna have less uh, opportunities to, uh, you know, to to pass the ball and make big plays. All right. You're gonna have less opportunity to make big plays. Uh, and you know, as far as the running game is concerned, like you're not gonna have, you know, uh, you're gonna not gonna have time to, you know, call plays for your defensive side uh, offensive side of the ball all right you're not going to have that balance and balance is incredibly important when it comes down to making plays and getting back into the game and keeping the defense off off you know off balance all right having the opportunity to rely on every aspect of your playbook all right you want to be able to use uh, you know, play action. You want to be able to use the running game. You want to be able to, you know, call some trick plays here and now, some screen plays here and now. You want to be able to do all of that. So when you don't, you know, have, you know, that offense only has one option, and that's to pass the ball, the better it is for your defense because you know exactly what's coming. So when it all comes down to it, man, relying on the defense rather than, you know, relying on the offensive side of the ball is always most important. You got to get the ball into the, the defensive side of the ball hands and, you know, and let them do their thing. Get up to the quarterback, stop the run, you know, stop the pass, and let them have the opportunity to get after their quarterback. Again, that's what matters most. You got to be able to keep their offense, you know, off balance and predictable. That's what you want. You want their offense to be predictable so you know exactly what's coming you're better with that. So let me know what you guys think about this, man. Leave your comments below. Put your boy, man, Mike is out, man. Peace.